Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. When we analyze the structure, we need to find out the internal forces developed in the structural elements that is bending moment, shear force and deflection. So according to this, we need to provide the cross section of the member and then reinforcement. So it is very very important to know about what are all the internal forces developed in the structure. So in this video, let's take the fixed beam and let's see how do we calculate the bending moment, shear force and deflection. What are all the formulas to calculate bending moment and shear force and deflection for fixed beam. So always we get confused with the support conditions like whether it is a simply supported or fixed support and what are all the load cases. We have different load cases and always we get confused with these things. So to avoid that confusion, if we make it a clear diagram like how the shear force diagram look like for fixed beam and how do we take the bending moment diagram for the fixed beam with different load cases. If we have a clear idea, then we can avoid those confusions and we'll get the clear picture about the internal forces developed in the structural elements. So without delay, let's begin now. In this video, let's take the load case as point load at center. The point load which is acting on the center of the fixed beam. So here the load W is acting at the center of the beam. The length of the beam is L. First let's look into the shear force diagram. The shear force diagram looks like this. The sign conversion is upward positive and downward negative. We have to be very careful about the sign conversion. Upward positive and downward negative. Now let's start from here at point A the shear force will be 0 and here it will be W by 2. The sign is positive and when it goes here it will be again positive W by 2 and at the midpoint it is 0 and again here it will be W by 2 but the sign is negative because downward direction so this will be negative w by 2 and again it goes like this here also it is negative w by 2 and at this point it becomes 0 again so at a r a the reaction will be positive w by 2 and here at r b the reaction will be negative w by 2 and in the midpoint it will get cancelled it will become 0 you can note the sign here positive here it is negative. Next let's look into the bending moment diagram. So for fixed beam bending moment diagram we can divide into two parts. One is free moment diagram like we are uh, taking out the fixed support and we are considering as a simply supported and we are we need to draw the free moment diagram. So that looks like this. So free moment diagram the positive bending moment will be W L by 4 and then we need to draw the fixed moment diagram. Since the load is acting at the center of the beam, it, it is symmetrical. So we will be getting the fixed moment diagram as a rectangle shape. Since the load is acting at midpoint, it is symmetrical. Both sides, it is symmetrical. So moment value will be same. So that is why we are getting the rectangle shape. And the moments are hogging moment. So that is why we get the negative value over here. MA, the moment will be like this anti-clockwise and MB the moment will be like this clockwise. So here anti-clockwise negative clockwise positive. So first we need to find out the area of triangle from the free moment diagram. Area of triangle is half into BH. Here B is the length of the beam L and then WL by 4 is the height. This height is WL by 4. So we get area of triangle as WL square by 8. Next we need to find out the area of free moment diagram. So here we have a rectangle. So area of rectangle is length into breadth. Length is L and then width is MA. So MA into L. By equating these two areas we can find out MA. So we get MA as WL by 8. By solving this we get MA value as W L by 8. Now we need to combine these two bending moment diagram. So here I have combined the two bending moment diagram free moment diagram and fixed moment diagram. So that looks like this. We know we have got the value MA value as W L by 8. 
similarly mb value also wl by 8 this is anti clockwise and this is clockwise next let's find out the point of contraflexion this is the point where the bending moment changes its sign as you can see here the bending moment is changing the sign from negative to positive over here so this is the point of contraflexion so i i have taken the distance from a to this point of contraflexure as small a let's take the moment ma is equal to minus w l by 8 we are taking moment at this point so we need to consider this moment it is a uh, anti clockwise so that is why it is negative and plus w by 2 it is positive into a a is this distance which is equal to 0 so if we solve this we get a value as l by 4 here also it is l by 4 distance here also it is l by 4 distance since the load is symmetrical so after combining the bending moment diagrams free moment diagram and the fixed moment diagram we need to find out the bending moment at midpoint so let's consider this point as c midpoint mc is equal to w l by 8 negative w l by 8 this moment plus w by 2 is the shear force into distance distance is l by 2 at midpoint the total length is l at midpoint it is l by 2 which is equal to 0 so by solving this we get mc also w l by 8 so this is the bending moment at mid span so we have find out all the bending moments at a at c at b all are same since the load is acting at the midpoint of the beam next deflection so the deflection looks like this deflection diagram delta is equal to w l cube by 192 ei here w is the load l is the length of the beam e is the young's modulus and i is the moment of inertia so friends that's all about point load at center in fixed beams if you want other load cases like uniformly distributed load uniformly varying load or point load at various locations just let me know in the comment box so that i'll make a separate video for that load cases i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome if you like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching